Hey guys, how is it going? And welcome back to another video. Now, as you know, if you are in the UK, we are now in a second lockdown. What is life? <laughs> um, but that means that my gym is shut again. I'm unable to do jitsu again. And life is just not very good for fitness at the moment. Now I'm currently in my spare room. Um, this is kind of my spare room for guests slash office area. And I have moved some of my home fitness equipment into here uh, because it's a, I've got a reasonable space that I can, can do some home workouts from. And I decided that I was gonna upgrade and buy a freestanding punch bag or boxing bag or whatever you wanna call it. So today we are going to look at the Gallant Punching freestanding punch bag. Now there are a couple of different types. I found this on Amazon. It was a reasonable price and when I say reasonable it was cheap and it was small enough that I felt it would fit in that small space right there next to my sofa bed and it wouldn't get in the way too much. So today I'm going to do an unboxing, uh, put it all together, show you how it fits together, give it a bit of a rating and uh, if you're interested in getting a freestanding punch bag you can obviously make out well, you can decide whether you want one. Now, I want to make it really clear, guys, before we get into this, that this is a budget punch bag. There are better quality alternatives on the internet. So depending on your budget, this might or might not be suitable for you. But uh, without further ado, guys, let's get straight into it. Okay, so ignoring the boxing gloves on top. This is how it gets delivered. Um, it came really quickly, actually, if, considering it's so big. It came within like two days from Amazon. Um, it is five foot five, apparently, which is quite good. This is the base and this is the actual pad. There are a variety of different designs, but I went for this one. Uh, the bag itself is white and then this funky dragon design is in black uh, with Unleash the Beast written or typed on it. Um, so let's get opening and see what they're like. Now it does say on the box not to use a cutter or a knife. Uh, I assume that's for those special people of the world that are then just gonna go and hack into their punch bag. So just be careful, but I am gonna use one. This is what we have got in the base. The base is the first bit. I think it's upside down at the moment. Let me put you guys down. Okay, so this is the base. Now, um, as you can see, it's not, well, it's quite big, but it's not huge in comparison to some other freestanding punch bags. Um, the reason I got this, as I said, is because of the space. This isn't a massive room, and so having something that's quite compact is ideal. Um, now, you can fill this with a variety of different things. Typically, they suggest sand or water. Now, because of this second lockdown, I'm unable to get sand, so I'm going to try and fill out with water, see how it goes. Um, but I've heard that it can slosh around a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, this is apparently the filling cap. So the filling cap is there, it's just a hole and it has this like red plug that you push into it. it, it it's obviously quite good because if, it, if it's difficult to put on, then it means that whatever's inside will not spill out. And then you can also see that there are drill holes in the top, which is what, and there are a load of drill bits in here that I assume you sort of bolt the top bit into. Okay guys, so what I didn't realize this came with, which is quite cool, it comes with the bolts. So you've got some bolts there. You can't really see them, but there you go. You've got some bolts there where it's got a little sort of wrench in there as well. But these, if you've got like a hard floor, they also comes with suction pads. And I've just noticed that at the bottom, it has screw holes. So you can pop these on, which gives it a slightly wider base. And if you've got like a laminate floor in, these will stick nicely to that laminate floor in. And there's loads of them. Now, I said it was budget. That there 
is the plastic that has been drilled out. Rather than taking it out and throwing it, they just left it inside. Basic. <laughs> right, I'm now gonna open the big boy. So it comes wrapped quite nicely. As you can see, um, it is in a sort of cellophane wrap and the base bit, which I suppose you stick on top of there, is at the bottom. Um, from first look and from feeling it, it feels, it feels like good quality. It feels well made. Uh, I'm gonna put it out of the box and see what I need to do next. And here we have it. The screws, there are small little holes there as you can see, the screws go into that and they, and they bolt into the top here. In regards to the print that I chose, let me just wheel this round slightly. One second. I think that looks awesome. So you've got the Unleash the Beast, Beast being in red. You've then got that awesome dragon snaking round or curling round the side. The rest of it is white. And then you've got the stitching in the top here. Um, it feels good quality. It is in good nick. There are obviously some minor markings on it. Like here, you can see the slight pattern there from where it's been laying down in the box. But that will go out once I start kicking and beating this thing up. But there you go, look at that, banger. No, I don't have, <laughs> I know I don't have uh, a laminate flooring in here, carpet, but I am still gonna stick these on because it will give a little bit more traction on the carpet. It's probably better to do that after, no, before, before it's filled with water. So I'm gonna do that now. So, as I said at the beginning, uh, you need to either put sand or water into the base. Now, I don't obviously have sand. I'm going to put water in it. Um, it is massive. I don't know how many litres are, are in it, but it's, it's big. So, I think what I'm going to do to start off with is attempt to stick it in the shower, fill it up with the shower, which should take up most of the time, carry it in here. Fingers crossed it doesn't spill all over my feet and all over the floor. And then the last bit, I can use like a jug and fill it up with a jug. It's definitely not gonna go wrong. Right, so I have got the base. I've stuck all the suckers to the bottom of it. Sucker. Uh, and I have taken the head off of my shower and I'm gonna put it in the hole. Now, I don't know if this is a tip because I've not tried it, but I think it is a good tip. Um, I have stuck my bath mat underneath it because it's got the suckers on it. As the water goes in and weighs it down, I don't want it sticking to the floor because then I've got to try and pull it off the floor again, if that makes sense. So at least this way it won't suck to the floor and I'll be able to move it afterwards. Um, I'm probably not gonna fill it up full because like I say, I do have to carry it back through. It's not far, but I don't know how heavy it's gonna get. So here we go. I'd probably suggest taking the plastic bung off first because I need to take that out now. I rescued it. Now let's go.
probably a good idea to make sure that you turn the shower off prematurely. Just an idea. Right, it's mostly filled up. I need to get the bung in there and then I need to try and carry it out. Yeah. Right. Now, hopefully that holds. Um, now I need to move it. I'm gonna clear the boxes out of the way first because they're all in the hole. Let's go. I'll tell you what, this is another good reason for having the mat underneath. I can just pull the mat. Now I just need to take it off the mat. <laughs> there we go. Now it's not actually that heavy, it's just awkward. And because it's full of water, I'm not, I don't really wanna to have to move it loads and loads of times. It's gonna stay in this corner of the room. Now I'm gonna stick the top on and then we're gonna give it a test. All right guys, there we have it. It is now finished, it is complete. Um, it came with one extra bolt, which I suppose is good if one goes missing or something, I don't know. Um, but it is all ready to rock and roll now. As I said, I would probably suggest filling it with sand whilst tightening the bolts up. I could hear the water sloshing around a little bit. And obviously because I'm on carpeted floors, if it does spill, it's just a bit of annoyance really. Um, so at some point when I can get some, I may well siphon some of the water out and fill it with sand instead. Um, but no, I'm happy with it so far. And uh, the only thing left to do is give it a bit of a test. I've got my gloves. So cue some kind of really crap boxing montage, I suppose. Yeah. Right guys, I'm gonna stand up with you. Got a little bit of a sweat on. I've not done that much of it. Just giving a bit of a test run. 
it's awesome. Guys, if you are looking for a cheap punching bag, doesn't matter if you're a boxer or if you're just looking for it for fitness, this is a game changer. Um, the base wobbles a little bit, but actually I quite like that because the wobble is a little bit more reactive. You know, you hit it and it swings slightly. So good. One thing I am gonna show you though. When the water was sloshing a little bit, you can see it has started to dribble. So, as I've already said, if you can fill it with sand, you're not gonna get that with sand. Sand doesn't move the same way as water does. But otherwise, it held up well. So yeah guys, for 80 pound, I honestly can't recommend it enough. The pad, it's good quality. Um, I've hit things in gyms that have been the same. Obviously they've been hanging rather than freestanding. You know, it's compact, it's small. This thing will nicely fit into the corner there and it will be out of the way. Height wise, yeah, I'd say it's about 5'5". Five, five. I'm 5'9", five, 5'10"-ish, five, so it's perfect height. When it comes to me throwing out punches, it's really good height for me. And like I said before, it, it moves ever so slightly. So you have that slight reaction. It's great. I'm intrigued to see how long the pattern is gonna last. It is just painted on, obviously. Um, and after a little bit of wear and tear, I can imagine it will fade. Uh, but no, it is a sexy looking freestanding punch bag. I can't wait to include this in my workouts. And while I'm talking about workouts, I am gonna bring you some more, uh, say some more, I've done one or two. I'm gonna bring you some home workouts. Home workouts including this bad boy, but obviously you can replicate that way. Uh, shadow boxing, which is something I've done a lot recently. <laughs> Um, I've got some other free weights and other bands and bits and bobs down there on the floor So I will be bringing you guys Some more home workouts to hopefully inspire you and to keep you guys fit during this second lockdown Right, I'm gonna wrap this video up now. This has been lots of fun. I'm definitely gonna enjoy playing with it and uh, Yeah, as a final review for 80 pound It's small. It's compact It's good material. It's a lot of fun Get yourself one Stick it in your spare room, in your garage. Wouldn't recommend leaving it outside because I expect the screws and bolts and stuff would rot and it wouldn't be very good for the upper part, but highly recommend. Well done, Gallant. Thank you very much. I'm gonna have a lot of fun. Right, guys, if you haven't already, you can see the sweat beading off me. I've only been hitting it for a few minutes. Like this video, comment down below if you want to know anything about this, about boxing style workouts. If you wanna see me doing a boxing specific workout, let me know. And if you're new to the channel, guys, please subscribe. <sighs> See you guys next time. Peace.